Hello and very warm welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create mega menu using Elementor. I have just opened the Nike website and I really like the mega menu. When we hover over the items, we see the four items, a drop down and with the title and the available other options for, for this. Now they have new and featured, new arrivals, bestsellers. In trending, they have these items in short classics and explore. So we are going to see how we can create this type of menu using Elementor. Once we are logged in to the WordPress website, in the back end, we have the Elementor installed. Now this is available in Elementor Pro version and we will be doing it solely with the elementor so we go to elementor settings go to features and here is option for menu and we enable this activate this and click on save changes once we activate this this widget will be available in the editor the menu widget we go to templates save templates we are going to add a new template for header and in the header we say this is header select header and then this is a new template header create template now if you have already a template using the elementor then you can just click on add it with elementor and add the widget there that I'm going to show you here. So we close this down and we click on this. We are going to be three containers menu. In the first one there will be a logo. In the second one we will have a menu. Now this is the menu for the mega menu in Elementor drag this to the second and in the third container we can have something like search option or the or something else that you would need so we are currently focusing on just the mega menu and creating something similar structure here so we search form we have the search form third container and we say this is full screen and we align it to the right i want to change the background of this to the to the black color we make it this black color and um, yeah the toggle go to toggle and then change this to a white color for this we can also change the colors to the right we go to topography and here's the color for these items change it to white over to white as well and the active can be this yellow color of the logo now i align this in the middle items and we are going to publish this ad at the entire site now we are going to add the items here new and featured men women let's just do it quickly now the first one is new and featured. We added this one and play new and featured. This has the drop down menu for the mega menu that we are going to create. We enable this drop down content and we say that this has enabled it. When we click on this, we say this container appearing here where we can add our different other containers to create this kind of menu. Now the next one will be men, women, kids and Jordan. Now we have created the main bar with the links. We can put the links to links to these like new and feature can also have a specific link. Men can also have a specific link if someone clicks directly on this one this goes to that page 
so we can add it in here. So th these will be the categories. We can add the categories here, the categories link. We can also add dynamic links if you would like to some page, some taxonomy as well. So now we have activated this drop down content. So we click on this one. We see this container appearing here. So let's align that this appears at the bottom of it doesn't cut off this logo and this menu. So go to style tab and distance from the content we can make it like like 20 yeah we can set this 20 that it appears exactly at the bottom of this and we can also adjust the space between items like it can be like five or six between these items select the required font here i'm going to use the aerial font for this and i'm going to use it 16. We can also set the line height and get to the letter spacing if this is required. We also set the colors for the normal have active ones. Going to the icon, we can set the icon color for the hover for the active. So changing the, we don't need these um, icons. So we remove these icons. Drop down effect should be hover when we hover this. There will be a drop down animation menu toggle. This is for the mobile version, and additional is horizontal scroll. We can also enable this for the mobile version if you want to. It will stay like this. So let's create a menu that we have for the mega menu now. We have the four containers here, one, two, three, four. We're going to play the four containers like this one. And the first one says limited time and this has extra 20% off. We add a title here that says limited time. And we set the styling for this. We say this is going to be this color and 16. Font can be Arial 600. And we can change the color to be more prominent like this one. Right. Limited time. We are going to make it like normal. So it's not the uppercase. We set this to P tag so it doesn't have to be an H2 tag for all of these. P tag is good enough for this one. And if you would like to link this to something, then we can also link it, but I'm not choosing that one right now. Below this, we can duplicate this one and we can say that this is 14 and this is 400 and that says extra 20 percent off and we can change the content to extra 20 percent off something like that and link it to some link that we have for this and setting up the spacing between these because we see that there's a bit of less spacing than we have here so click on this container we can set this to 15 yeah that looks good now so copy this and paste here for the next one and new and featured and we copy this one and paste in here so above this we have some padding or the margin we can add to separate these click on this go to the advanced tab we add the margin here it can be like 30 new arrivals bestsellers new and upcoming jobs duplicate this one duplicate this one
you would like to have a spacing below this and make a bit of different font size you can also make that so we can add the spacing below this by five here or we can also set the containers to be 20 so we have the same spacing here and here and we can set this to minus 10 so they align nicely these three items right so now these three items align and this looks well the same size between this and this and this and this new arrivals so similarly we can create these for the next container and the next one and the next one so i copy this one i paste here paste here That is how we can create this. Um, we can we can set the paddings or the margins over here. So that is how we can create this mega menu. And if you have any question, feel free to leave in the comment box of this video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.